Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the power of parametric design using designing a tower methods. Let's start from a curve with, uh, from Rhino. Let's say we have this start curve and I'm going to add it into my grasshopper using set one curve. And I'm going to hide it inside my Rhino screen. Now, uh, the first thing I want to do is to make a boundary surface uh, because I want to have a flat, like this, flat uh, uh, surface. And now I've got, uh, I'm going to use extrude uh, to make uh, a floor of this um, part or block. And I'm going to use the Z direction for my extrude. And let's say we want to have an extrude of 3 or we can make it uh, more or less it depends on what you need um, and now uh, I want to have an array a linear array of this uh, floor to make my tower so let's uh, write array linear and I'm going to use the Z direction because I want it uh, to be vertical. And now I can define um, if I want to have it exactly like uh, what we had for the first time or we want to have a gap between our floors. Let's say we want to have a gap. I'm using the addition component which is inside my mask. And I'm going to say I want to have an addition one centimeter or one meter between these floors. You can see it in here. I can add to it or make it less. Okay, now I have these floors. And I can use a custom preview to make it more visible for you using the color swatch okay now what else I can do I can add to the mm, number of these uh, floors uh, now it's on 10 let's say I want to have 13 and I can also change my tower and make different designs using the components that we will speak about Let's say we want to have a rotation, so I can use this uh, array, uh, this uh, linear array versions, and uh, add it to the rotate component. Let's say I want to set it on degrees, and uh, the plane for this I can set on using an area component and taking the. Um, center of this uh, floors uh, I can use this first one also and set all the uh, center on one point instead of having it on the origin which is zero zero so now I'm using this center as my plane let's hide this part and, and add it to the custom preview uh, I can have the um, degree for, let's say, between 0 and uh, 180. And as you see, by changing this, uh, I can have a uh, rotation of the, um, of the floors, but they are all together. What if uh, I want to have them separately and make a form out of it? That's by using a range, which uh, I spoke about before in the video about numerical sequences and uh, so I'm using this range component and instead of having this uh, number slider here I'm going to add this one uh, and as uh, we spoke before it uh, asks uh, for domain and the uh, numbers or uh, steps so I'm going to use the uh, construct domain and I'm going to say that the domain of this change I want to, it to be between 0 and 180 
uh, and the number which it makes is based on the number of this array that we had so I'm going to uh, add this one to the steps but uh, as you see in here the result is 14 as we spoke before so we need to add an expression of x minus 1 to have the proper number of items that we need and now you can see that this has made a form out of our uh, uh, tower and by changing this number you can see that we have different results now also I can add to the number of the floors to make it more visible another thing that we can use is uh, using a graph mapper as we also discussed it in, uh, in the video about numerical sequences and added the result of the range component that we have in here so I'm going to type graph mapper and using the graph type of like this here uh, and, and as you see this is the domain of 0 1 that it has so it's from 0 to 1 and we need to remap it and using the bounds or also the domain that you made in here and the target of 0 to 1 I want to change these numbers based on this graph and I need to also remap the result based on 0 to 1 to the target of this construct domain that we had already so if I connect this result to the angles you can see by changing this graph I can see different results I can set if the first uh, floor also would uh, rotate or not and that's why this uh, part you see it's changing and also for the last floor like this one I can change this other one and that's it so this is the tower that we have in here I can group it together now let's say we want to have uh, some kind of between parts or between floors that uh, we want it to be here and uh, we want it to be with another material like, like uh, glass for doing this we need to extract uh, these parts uh, this space as I mean so we need to use the construct bitrep component which you can find using typing the construct bitrep uh, or we can also find it inside the surfaces and inside the analysis part so I'm going to use the output of my rotation these bitrepes uh, and I'm going to extract the faces that I need so I'm going to use a list item component As you see now this is taking the uh, lower face but I want this upper part so let's connect the number slider to the index and you can see that number 2 is the index of this part uh, I see that I have these parts uh, but uh, I don't want the last part because uh, I just want to have this um, floors just between the uh, between the floors and not this last one is needed so I'm going to use the color index component and I'm going to uh, connect the output of this uh, the output of this list items to the list and uh, the index if I put it on zero you can see that uh, let's just hide this part all of them are uh, deleted together and the reason is that this should be on flatten so now we have it on flatten and as you see in here it has a uh, eliminated the first one but we want it to be the last one so instead of connecting this we should uh, right click in here and put it on minus one 
which is the last item. So now the last one is uh, eliminated from the list. Okay, so now we have these parts uh, and we want to make it scaled. So I'm going, I'm going to use the scale component and uh, using the area of these parts. The centers uh, using the area component and uh, using a factor like 0.9. I can have it a little uh, smaller than what we had uh, at the first time. Now, if I use an extrusion, extrude component, and use it, use the z value and the number that we used here as the gap, which is what's in here, we add it to the um, z value for the array. So if I connect it to here, you can see that now we made this uh, between parts. Now I can connect another custom preview to make these parts more visible. And let's say the color we want to be on uh, blue. So using a color swatch, I'm going to put it on blue. And now you have uh, this tower. Okay, let's also uh, group this part. And now you can see that by changing each part, we can have different types of the tower and there is no need to change uh, from the first and come back to the first point that we started to design our tower. So we can change this graph. We can also change how many of these uh, floors we want to have. We can change the domain or the uh, how much uh, the range of our uh, rotation is. Uh, and also, uh, we can change uh, the uh, height of the floors and the height of these uh, gaps that we had. So as you see, we all are changing. Also, we can change that uh, these parts, uh, of these blue parts, we want to it uh, to be uh, more than the other parts. So instead of being uh, having a factor of uh, minus uh, one, which is uh, below one, that makes it uh, smaller, we can have it to like this. So it all depends on what your design is. And also, you can change the first curve that you had in here. So I'm going to, for example, use a polygon in here, to write, and uh, set it as my new one. Uh, so I set it as a curve and as you see all these parts are changed uh, to this new curve and the only thing you need to do is that in here uh, we used um, the upper surface which is now different uh, because it has more, surface, more uh, faces than we had before so I just need to adapt it to this new um, part and uh, so let's change this uh, index number and it's better to lock a screen to uh, have it more uh, visible and don't crash the uh, program so let's say we put down three we see that uh, this face is selected and if I set it on five six okay now it's right so i had to just change this number to make it work with this new curve and that's it i can also change this graph to any new one that i need
so this is how parametric design helps you to have new design ideas and you no need to repeat the process because you have the process you just need to change the parameters and you will get new results that brings us uh, to the end of this video and we are continuing with new ones in the next lessons